Hi, my name is Maria and this is my second Toshi Designer tutorial. So in this one we are going to explore a, a little bit of geometries and some math in the shop uh, world. So without any more to say, I'm going to start with you guys from scratch. I'm going to delete everything. And the first thing that we're going to bring is a torus. I call it Donut, but technically it's a torus. That's the proper name. Uh, and here we're going to change the orientation to X, to the X axis. And if you push this button, uh, you can activate the view. And I already know that I want to change the inner circle for a little bit. Uh, a smaller number 2.4 if you active again the operator and you press the w you can see the wireframe and also you can see that it's a little bit kind of wonky so i'm going to have like more detail uh, adding rows so i'm i'm going to add 16 and 16 uh, but you can test this and after this i'm going to have a transform so instead of copy what i'm going to do is to have a couple of transform in this case four because i already know that i need four transform and i'm going to merge them all together uh, so i'm going to merge and at the moment they're going to be like all uh, on top of each other uh, but um, a node and from the node we're going to have our geometry come geometry so after this i can change my layout and have my geometry in this view so at the moment all my four torus uh, or donuts are on top of each other all of them so what i'm going to do is uh, the movement came from my one of my favorite operators, the LFO. And I know that I'm going to have and I'm going to have an elbow right in the middle. I need a mat. And finally I am I know that this is a little bit um um fast so the frequency let's put 0.5 and the same with the amplitude to have 0.5 i'm going to rename this channel from channel one to a, a tx and i'm going to copy and paste and i'm going to call this scale just from this tx i'm going to leave it as it is but in the scale i'm going to go to the range page and i only want positive numbers so i'm going to say that the range is from mi minus one to one and it's going to be the uh, the range of movement is going to be from zero to two and also I, i'm going to merge these together i probably don't need this node so i'm going to delete it and in here i'm going to add a merge let's go to have a merge in here and we can have these together i'm going to add this and add it to my transform so i'm going to select all of them together so if you go with your right button and select them all you can reference your operator in this case the chop operators in the transform page so i know the all the scales are going to be in the tree axis so i'm going to chop reference for all of the tree and the tx is going to be only on the translate x so i already know that i want them to move 
en, ah, in increments of three. So this is going to be zero, but in the second transform, I'm going to have plus three, and I'm going to do the same in the other uh, operator. So I'm going to have plus six, and my last one is going to have plus nine. So now I have the movement, and now I'm going to have my other set. And so I'm going to repeat kind of the same uh, all of these. So I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to have two geometries for now. Uh, this can be simplified, but in order to explain, it's easy for me to do it this way, so you can see it. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to change only the mat of this. And let's first, let's select again with the right button. And we're going to delete this reference. So to zero, sorry. So let's put it as to zero, zero, zero. So we know that these are going to be like different reference. So the first thing that we're going to change in this map is that the range is now, instead of zero to one, we are going to have three because we also want the increments of three in the X and zero. And the scale is going to be the opposite of the scale in the first set. This is zero to two. And in this case, I want also negative, but two to zero. So now with that set, I'm going to come to the transfer page, select them all the transfer operators, and we're going to active this and add the scale to all the axes again, and the TX again only to the tx uh, axis so now they're again they're in the same position all of them but i'm going to have my first one is going to be um, minus three because i already know that my second one is going to have in the axis that's going to be as it is we're going to leave it in zero because you can see that it's already working. And this one we're going to have plus three. And this one is going to have plus six. So now you can see that they're moving together. Uh, and they have the translate is separated in each of the transform. So what we can to do now is to add our render setup. So we're going to come to the, the com and have our camera. We are going to need a light and we're going to have our render. And for the resolution, I'm going to have a 1920 for 1080. But you can have whatever it works for you or your preference. And, and after this, I'm going to have a note, and this is going to be my null final. And I'm going to active the display. I'm going to have my display top on the right side of my screen. And that's because I like to work. In that way, so I'm going to have here my top viewer, and with a uh, right click, we're going to display and we are going to untick the backdrop tops, backdrop tops, so it's not that distracting. And remember to save, control S, <laughs> and now we need a material as well. So with our material, I'm going to have a phone. And for good practice, I always add an all even in my materials. And I'm going to reference this material in both of my geometries. 
farm material. And I'm going to have I'm going to come to the tops and have a run. And I'm going to uh, move it here and all I can this node is going to be referenced in the color map of my material. I'm going to go to the common page and I already know that I need only a resolution of five by one. And I'm going to here I'm going to add the colors that I want on my render on my material. So it's going to mine was a little bit bluish so i'm going to have like similar um colors over here white blue and a little bit of pink maybe more intense so this is my color setup for this one we can have this a circular so it's a little bit more similar as it was and in the face, we could also start playing a little bit with this. But let's uh, leave it as it is for now. And go to our um, um, to the final look. So I'm going to have a feedback loop in my um, oh, as my visuals. I'm going to have a blur, and I'm going to have a level. And everybody does this, so let's go in and go have a com composite. I'm going to have it here, and I'm going to change this to here. It's going to stop, but that's okay. And I'm going to have my loop, and this composite is going to come to the feedback. But instead of multiply, the operation is going to be at as you can see, it, everything goes Y, and this is because in the pose of the level and the opacity, we need to use, um, have it a little bit less. But here we can't, in the top, we haven't changed our camera setup, so let's do that right away. I already know what I need, so I'm going to do it. And you can follow or play in the geometry with your camera. If, but I already know that I want a minus 50 in the rotation and the Y axis and the, my translate I want minus 10 and instead of 5 I want 10 so I can see everything and that's all for my setup and to be honest in this case what I did uh, here you can see the view of the camera so what i did was to have exactly the same setup and save the light save view to light one so it's quite bright and glowy but in my light we're going to go to uh, the lights and we're going to change to con light and I already know that I need a little bit more in the delta, so I need at least a 33, so I can see all of it. And I'm also going to turn on the shadows to hard shadow. Um, let's go to the level and turn it off a little bit the same like is to um, the opacity needs to be lower and maybe in the light you could also play with the color so instead of having this white over the top of my surface if you play with the color it's going to start changing that brightness I really don't mind and uh, maybe a little bit the white a little bit grayish instead and this is pretty much um, this tutorial this is what it is after that I add an over to have a background so I have my over and from here no. I'm 
I'm going to have a constant. Um, in the input, we're going to have input one, and you can also change the color of the background. You can have a black or any color. I really like how it looks with a background in white, so I like that. Um, and I also like to always add a little bit of noise to my setups. Uh, change the period to the to zero and go to the output and in the noise scale go really low so you can kind of see a little bit of grainy I really like it but you can um, ignore that path if you don't like it and we can also come to the ramp and in the face we can to animate this with the Python expression apps a uh, time with C uh, capital T and um, seconds. It's going to start changing like quite fast, but you, we can always multiply by uh, a lower number, so 0.5 for example. It's going to start getting a little bit less jumpy or even less, 0 0.8 for example. So we're going to have that. Um, you can always come to this LFO and start changing. There at the moment they're pretty much the same. We can change the frequency to 0.3, for example, and it's going to get lower, like a uh, slower of 0.2. So we're changing all of them. Now let's change all of them. And 2.3 and my final the final thing that I need to tell you guys is that we have like a lot more operators that we need because everything can come from these ones and so I don't need these torus or this geometry set so I can delete this one and bring this transform to the merge and it's going to have the same effect but at the beginning everything is quite helpful to have that two set of operators to know what is doing each of the sets uh, but it's better to have less operators as we know the same with these torus because it's exactly the same i can bring uh, i can delete these torus and take all this again and add this one so that makes everything like less heavy and you can also play with many things with the colors and and they start also going to the LFO and change the scale and the amplitude and that's all for this tutorial i hope you were able to learn something and hopefully see you soon thank you